Okay. <laughs> I saw that, Rachel. That's messed up. Whoa. That's messed up. What? You? How is it messed up? Oh. I don't know. We'll find out as court begins now. Welcome, everyone, to the second trial. <laughs> um, Rachel versus Kim. And here we mm -hmm. have Rena as judge. Reveal Adrian. the cases. Reveal, reveal. Oh. Okay, Kim, you're first this time. I was first last time. Okay. Um, you know, here we have a rare and beautiful flower that contains the cure to cancer and AIDS. Two big issues we have in our world. Um, and you know, we you know, sometimes when we talk about hard things, we have to come up for air and make it a little bit more funny. So sometimes the scientists and the flowers they make duck faces. Trying to get everyone to laugh. Um, a bunch of seagulls that are definitely going to poop on you. And they're currently being interviewed by a national news team. Um, so let's see. You know, there's a common misconception that they're just pooping because they ate a lot. But let me tell you, um, this is actually for a pooping sport. Um, that's why they're being interviewed by a national news team. So they're just trying to figure out, like, they're trying to have fun too. You know, if humans can have fun, seagulls can have their own version of the Olympics. Um, and... Your family, Rina, your family is right there on the tracks. Your sisters, who you are muted from right now, if only they could know that they are on the tracks with you. Um, they are immortal. They are strong people. I'm sure, Rina, your family is strong. You are a strong woman. But the only thing you cannot be is a trolley. That is, that is hard. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> Okay, well, first I just gotta say that the duck face is really annoying, and that flower, really annoying, you know? I mean, so is um, cancer and AIDS, I mean, you know? Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a group of Buddhist monks, and they may be in crippling debt, but... Maybe look at them praying in their orange robes. They're not hurting anyone. They're not asking to be killed. They're just worshipping and living their life, you know? I think they deserve to keep living their life. Then we have a bunch of kids, a bunch of kids playing on the tracks in the prime of their youth, having the time of their life, making lifelong memories that you could possibly end. What's a diggeridoo? Now, they will not stop playing didgeridoo. What is that? And yes, that it's like a big, long <laughs> instrument from Australia, I think. <laughs> okay. And it may it may be quite deep. It may be quite a loud instrument. But it's a beautiful instrument, and it means a lot to the people of Australia. Mm. So if you kill kids while playing, while they're playing the didgeridoo, think what that will do to everyone in Australia. Okay? Uh then, okay, yeah, we have a lone scout for a dangerous race of conquering aliens, but he is alone. He's only one guy. He can't do much harm, he's just one dude. He may be an outspoken <laughs> necrophiliac rights advocate, but <laughs> oh. no one's perfect. <laughs> no one's no perfect. One's perfect. <laughs> and I think of all the scientific advances that could be made when you capture this lone scout who's not a threat to you because he's alone. Look at the size of his spaceship and his gun. He's tiny. He's no threat. Mm. You could capture him. Yes, necrophilia, but he's he's just an advocate and he's going to die anyway because he's going to be used for science. Think of all the scientific advancements he'll make when you oh. experiment on him. Interesting. So you bring up science and yet here I am on my tracks having a beautiful flower that will cure cancer and AIDS. And yet you think that an alien with, <laughs> with a penchant well, for necrophilia <laughs> will aid just... the world. Yeah, because we're going to take samples from this alien and we're going to learn from it. And he's gonna highlight loads of amazing things that we never knew uh, yes he is both dangerous and a necrophilia mm -hmm. advocate but as i said 
no one is perfect and he has a lot to offer science and and you know think of the kids think of the buddhists <laughs> think of the think you know it's super that is yeah no one's i i'm i'm Everyone's thinking false. you're right i am thinking um but i gotta say aliens is one thing aliens and necrophilia but kids playing a didgeridoo what in the world i saw the image that rena has supplied and i have to say that is too big of an instrument to be lugging around with you it's that is wrong beautiful is also, it beautiful or subjective the kids can even the, the fact that the kids are strong enough to play that means that they must have some weird superhero powers going on and you really don't want to get rid of them they have so much potential actually so happy. no Look at them. Look at actually the way the 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 reason they have to you know they can even hold it is because there's three of them so technically three of them is holding one that instrument is way too heavy the real, they're the weak therefore here. let them die we only the need strong people here. here do you really want to be po pooped on by a bunch of obnoxious sports seagulls mm. i wouldn't you know, I would want to kill them. Oh, uh, but they're great for entertainment purposes. Why be pooped on when you can well, watch them poop on be each very other? Entertaining when you're getting pooped on, they're gonna poop on you. Well, it I don't, I don't know if that's definitely, true. Definitely, it says definitely. Uh, definitely. What is definite even? Um, that they're gonna poop on you. That's what's definite. You don't want to get pooped on. I mean, you don't want to <sighs> kill monks and get pooped on. Seriously. If I had to I choose between poop and necrophilia, I, I have to say I'm going with the poop. I think it's a little bit you more natural. You don't have to engage in it. In necrophilia? You don't have or to in the engage. Pooping. He's an advocate, but he's gonna... He... No, that doesn't affect an advocate. If anything, I think a... maybe it'll bring awareness to the problem. <laughs> I mean, you're dead if you engage in necrophilia. Um... um... She, um, uh, necrophilia, necroshmelia. I want to look at your family, Rena. I think this is really important. I don't want them to get hurt by a trolley, and they might get hurt by a trolley. And you know, listen, seagulls can shit all they want. The smell is bad. You can always wash it off. But if an alien came into your family's house and was like, "Let's do necrophilia," that's that's disgusting. <laughs> What say you, Rachel? I say that really, if we live in a world where there is, you know, people such as Kim who suggest that you should oh, kill no. kids who play didgeridoos, no. you don't want your family to have to live in that kind of a world. No, I said you know? weak kids who need three of them to hold one didgeridoo. I mean, come on. Uh, but I don't um, think that death is right. I didn't say that. Uh, you also, I mean, there's pooping seagulls in this world. There's necrophilia. You don't want to put your family through that. Really. They're immortal. They're immortal. Think of all the years they're going to have to live with all the shit that goes on in this world. You need to you need to do them a, 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 a service and get them out of here. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't have a family I mean. if I let the kids live in it. Um, I mean, it's only hard one. So they you wouldn't know. go through that. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, Rachel, I'm not, I don't know what you got to say about these monks either. They're, they're in debt, right? They are actually destroying our economy as we are speaking. And, you know, um, again, with the econo economics, Kim, again, <laughs> with the economics. Listen, I know math. Not everything's about money, Kim. Well, I mean, money creates change and it's the change in the world that will, you know, get the funding you for the the flower that will cure cancer and AIDS. What what say you to that? I say that the 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 real funds we need are the funds of love coming from these. Oh, please love. Yes. Okay, okay, go on. They have love, and love has no price. So they're crippling debt. <laughs> it's not even. Oh it's my not God. even an issue because it, it's it's more than paid by mm. the prayers given by these monks daily but prayers will not save lives and this is what i'm trying to do is to save your family's life rena these monks save them they're closing from what? well from these monks they're just praying as if any that will bring any good to the families to the people who have cancer and aids to the 
seagulls that will poop they're, in their own Olympics. They have good intentions. They have very good intentions. You can't. You, know, uh, you don't want to kill them. Can uh, I have pooping birds? A suffering family. Um, a really annoying flower. <laughs> oh, she's sliding. <laughs> Makes a duck face. Oh, five seconds. <laughs> we have five seconds. All right, Rena. I'm nervous. Five. Four. Will I ever be able to be alone? Three. <laughs> she says that she eats mom spaghetti. One. <laughs> oh. I knew it. The second I saw the family, I I'm doomed. <laughs> oh. Uh, impossible. I'm glad you chose the right thing. I had to argue in favor of a necrophilia alien. <laughs> a necrophilic alien. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. Oh, um, I know. And the flower that cures cancer, yeah. Yes. And didgeridoos are so annoying. <laughs> what? I, I learned something new today, at least. Didgeridoo. Didgeridoo, oh. I gotta poo. Kim, you have to listen to what they sound like. Okay, what do they the sound video. like? Oh, wait, let me just They're play really... it in the thing. In the... Yes, do. Okay, dot play. Did... Sure. They sound pretty funky. Um, dot skip. This is didgeridoo, y'all. I'm dancing to it. Traditional didgeridoo. Oh, oh, I think I skipped over it. If I play it, did sure. And what's up with this name? That did you really do? Here it's we go. really weird. Oh hell yeah! Yo 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 yo! Oh, I am jamming. It sounds like my yeah. Jamming right now. It does fit the. It does sound like my stomach when I'm hungry. <laughs> I have to say. That's yeah. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah, this fits the alien theme. Oh man, the, okay, set theme. This song just starts playing out of nowhere as an alien comes up to your door. I love the necrophilia. Like being beamed to your front door. Yeah. Trying to sell you on necrophilia. While this plays in the background. And you're just like, uh, Rena's family just shuts the door. It's like, no sir, we don't, no sales right now, sorry. There's like a flock of seagulls just passing by overhead. <laughs> They're all just shitting on you. Oh god, this is the shit Olympics. 